there enough women in the STEM fields? And what could be done about it? I think to ans answer the question of how more women could um, be, um, could flourish in the STEM fields, actually has to be asked at a much earlier age. I think by the time a young girl is maybe 10 or 12, she's already been socially programmed with this insidious message. In our country, this message is, um, you have to compromise your ambitions. You're not really going to be able to decide what you want to do because there is some nebulous future. Uh, there will be some entity called a husband. There will be the family that you're going to marry into. And yeah, 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 you can pursue your career, but it can't be at the expense of your family. This is such a lose-lose definition, right? Now, a young boy's future is equally unknown, but he doesn't compromise his dreams. A boy typically grows up perhaps thinking, yeah, life is uncertain and I'll figure it out. This I'll figure it out kind of approach is what we need to empower our young girls to having. Because if you kind of think you'll figure it out, you'll dream, you'll explore your talents, you'll make reasonable decisions, you'll decide whether something is uh, going to get you a job later on or not. You'll figure it out just as all young minds eventually figure things out. So I think if we just let our girls be and try not to give them all of this extra advice, I think we'll be fine. They're all brains in training and brains in training acquire experiences and figure things out. I would say if I had a message for young girls, you have one life. Aspire, dream what you want to and just don't listen to anybody who tells you not to. Just don't listen, make up your own mind.